All right. Yep, I'm playing DK64 Randomizer again, everybody. Hi out there in YouTube land. <laughs> DK got hit in DK TV. That's not supposed to happen. All right. So you might be wondering why I've decided to go back to the DK64 Randomizer. Well, I've decided to play it a slightly different way. On my first playthrough, I did the Entrance Randomizer, which caused things to take quite a while. I have... I have made things a little different this time. Uh, no entrance randomizer now. The levels will be random, but the rooms will not. So the game will largely play similar to vanilla. Also, I have randomized which keys I need to get. In my first randomizer, I needed to collect all eight. Here, I may not even need to collect any of them. So we'll have to see. You might think, well, this will make the game really short and easy, right? Well, yes, but it's still going to be interesting. So, let's see, adventure mode. All right, we have gotten key one, key four, key five, and key seven. We need two, three, six, and eight. Okay. And we start with Tiny Comb. Interesting. So this should go, again, keyword being should, it should go a lot faster than the entrance randomizer one I did last time. Because I now know where I'm going. So right off the bat, this is something that I would have done. Oh, are you having cake? <laughs> this is something I would have done normally in the reg the first one, if I knew where this went. We can do a very very simple glitch. Oh. <clears throat> Swam a little. Come on, tiny. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now we're on, now we're under the island. Once again, Tiny has only one eye, which is weird. There we go. We want to get in here early this time. We can talk to the banana fairy so we get the shockwave attack. So without the entrance randomizer, we should be able to get through most of the game without grabbing really any gold bananas. We'll need blueprint bananas for hideout helm, but. Unless Lanky Calm is hidden behind Frantic Factory, we should not need very many golden bananas. Alright, so now that we've gotten that, we have our Shockwave attack, we can start getting money early on, which will be very, very nice. Gotta get that cash money. Because the, ma the main puzzle behind these randomizers is going to be figuring out where the different moves are, making sure you unlock all the cones and buy all the moves that you need. I also, yes, I did not turn custom music on for this randomizer or custom sound effects because that kind of screwed things up last time. Plus, I, I love the music as it is. But will I, will I stream one that involves custom music? I guess it's possible. It's certainly possible, yeah. But I, I do really, really like the DK64 music, so... Much less likely than for the Zelda randomizers. Will Tiny actually be able to go in... Th oh my gosh, yay. Yay. <laughs> I never really go in here, but as it turns out, there is a DK Dirt Patch in here. Which means 25 coins. You should, Proxima. You should just be in complete control of the custom music next time I stream a custom music randomizer. <laughs> That's very impressive. You're on your way to becoming an Artie Buck millionaire. <laughs> Noisemaker. I have also not randomized the... Uh, Banana ports. I can't remember if I randomized banana ports last time. I think I did. Yeah, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> hey, Mobius. Welcome. <laughs> yes, unfortunately, Artie Bucks do not yet work in the real world. But maybe soon. I'll keep you guys posted on that. Well, you can. That is your... Probably the best use of your arty bucks is the custom music selection. So we're just going around getting basically as much money as we can. 
That way we don't really have to worry about it later on. What's nice about the rainbow coins is they don't just give five coins to your column, they give five coins to every column, even the ones you haven't rescued yet. <laughs> Which is just lovely. Are you still uh, sick from the Mario Sunshine Volcano Virus, uh, Mobius? Don't want to say the actual name because Twitch and YouTube don't like that. Like, if I, if I said the actual name, I'd probably get the tag on YouTube, like, Learn all of the latest information from this place. It's like, no. The friend that shall not be named. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess that's one way to put it. Oh, wait, Tiny Cone's one of those cones that can't swing across to the other side, isn't she? <sighs> Darn it! Only, like, only DK and Chunky Cone can swing across that. It's really dumb. That's the one. Glad to hear it. The beer bug is not much fun, from what I've heard. Donk! Oh my gosh. Okay, this is great. This means... This was the one thing I was kind of worried about. If Lanky Kong was hidden behind Frantic Factory with a lot of gold bananas, that could have been bad news, but because... Oh man, this is World 1. This is great. This is great. We're gonna... I don't want to get cocky, but this seed should probably be beaten within an hour and a half. Hey, Nintendo Addict, welcome! You're just in time for the OK stream. Fall damage? What's that? Maybe in the future I'll try a DK64 randomizer where I'm not allowed to use glitches. That would be the hardest thing. I'm so used to abusing glitches in this game now, like... Oh wow, Vanilla Kiss Blood. And now you're purposefully typing it this time. Alright. Which calm will we get? Is it Link? I hope it's Linky Cone or DK. It's Diddy. Alright, we need Diddy as well. Oh, oh. Whoa, 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 whoa! There's nothing really wrong with typing it in. It's more just speaking it on stream because YouTube has the voice recognition. They'll be like, oh, you're talking about that? Ho oh, ho! Well, then, we'll send you all of the links about getting the latest information. And it's like, no, don't tag my DK64 video with, like, here are the health risks and what you can expect from the authoritative sources on the subject. I'm like, I don't care. <gasps> Ponytail twirl! Yes! Oh, that's such a good move to get early. One-eyed tiny to the rescue. I already forget which keys we need to grab. Alright, Diddy, what you got in this room? <laughs> hey, Cranky! Simeon Sprain? Yes, indeed. Not bad. Not fantastic. Yeah, low risk job for the plague. That's true. Same with me because because my company is very, is German based. Uh, <laughs> they are they're a lot more strict in Germany and a lot more cautious about things like that. So it's like, oh, did you come into contact with someone who had the sniffles? Yeah, don't come into work for two weeks. I'm like, okay. Alright, before we leave, let's get Diddy's Kisplot. What the heck? Guy is going crazy. Thanks so much. Oh, I just realized, though, without DK and Lanky, 
we may actually have... We may not be able to clip past Bee Locker. So we may actually need to collect some gold bananas. It's true, I don't have a tracker for this randomizer, because there's not much to keep track of. It's like, I guess you can keep track of what keys you still need, but that's pretty much it. And you can always go to the file select screen to see that. Alright, Crystal Caves Lobby. How many gold bananas we need? Probably way too many for us to clip past. Eighty-four! Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, we can't go there until we get Lanky or DK. How many rare games have I played? Quite a few! Both the Banjos, DK64, the DK Country Trilogy, Star Fox Adventures. Have I opened up the way to the Galleon? It doesn't matter if I have or not, I can still go in. Alright, how about Fringe? Again, I can't remember which keys I started with. Okay, we can't... Hmm. Interesting. Is Fungi Forest open? I sure hope so. Otherwise, we're at a little bit of an impasse. Oh good, it is. Or whatever Fungi Forest turned into. Submit! Give me that. Submit! Ooh, creepy castle. Nice. I should also get the hints from Wrinkly. The barrier with the level to the drawbridge and a moat can be obtained by can be cleared by obtaining 25 gold bananas. All right, so 25 gold bananas to get into this place that I am right now. Splat! Coin Horde in Monkey Smash Game Mode. Was that even a full sentence, or was I just reading that wrong? Alright, well, this is interesting. Perhaps we need to go back to Fr Frantic Factory. This! <laughs> Lanky Cheese or DK Cheese. Don't forget about the DK Cheese. Oh, wait a second, guys. Oh, are you guys ready for a convoluted shortcut? We can't swing across the gap to reach Angry Aztec, but we can... Take the long way around, and get another dirt patch. We also may be able to reach Crystal Caves from here. A calm, full looted shortcut, you are correct. Oh, we need one more gold banana. Factory Candy is on the way of the Horde. I already went to Factory Candy. Oh, I'm one banana short. Okay. Nine medals are required to access jetpack. Well, I don't need jetpack. Mm hmm. It's a new Simpsons character, right? It's fine. All right. I again, I forget it. Oh wait, Crystal Caves has to be open because Creepy Castle is open. All right. So we have key number one. We have key number five. And we have key... I remember we had key number seven. 64 bananas, eh? Yeah, I don't think so. Alright, I can't believe we're doing this, folks. But we are going back to Frantic Factory, because we need an Evergold banana. And I can't get any of them in DK Isles right now. I can't even access Snide's HQ to turn in Diddy's blueprint, so... Oh, you made up a new Simpsons character that's not on the show. Oh, nice! That's really cool, then. It was so convincing, I didn't even know it wasn't on the show normally. Alright. I will not steal, super promise.
I like the enemy randomizer. It, it adds some spice to it. Uh, correct. I do not really watch The Simpsons. I have seen some episodes. I am familiar with some of the memes, but... I have only seen a very small handful of them. Man, I, I gotta say, I didn't think an instant tag barrel would be that useful, but man, it's really nice. And now that I'm used to it, I'm never gonna be able to go back to vanilla game. I'm familiar with steamed hams. I have no idea how that became a meme or why it's popular, though. Yeah, speaking from personal experience, Nintendo Addict. <laughs> I do miss the DK dance that people that the columns do. And I also realized, before I leave, I should check what uh, Funky Cone has. It's always the weird things that become memes. It's never the stuff that you would expect. Like, for example, in Arfur. Arfur is a show that is filled to the brim with great meme, meme material. Why, out of all of that, Arfur's fist became the meme? I'll never know. Ooh! Blueprint. <clears throat> hey! I'm trying to beat up the Kaskua. Oh, wow. Thank you, lag. The lag actually really helped out there. Purple bananas are the only banana that doesn't occur in nature. Oh, hey! We got moves for both of them. Mini monkey? Oh, saxophone slam. That's also good. <laughs> you usually, in the DK64 randomizer, are going to free one of the cones really, really quickly. It was unusual that in my previous one, as Lanky, it took me like half the seed to rescue someone. Rocket barrel boost. Nice. Blue bananas are a real fiend. All you gotta do is let them sit out for a long time, and then they turn blue with mold. And you know what? For the content's sake, I want to see what the bonus barrel at the top of here is. Uh, that was weird. It would not... What the heck? That's a weird enemy. Um... Climb up, Diddy. Thank you. Splat! I want to see what the I want to see what this is. If it's Beaver Bobber, I'm out immediately. Oh, it's one of the Hideout Helm bonus barrels. Take to the shoot. I don't have. I don't have the peanut pop gun, so I literally can't do this. <laughs> I've never seen Diddy's jetpack when he hit, when he doesn't have the peanut pop guns. He's doing finger guns right now. He's like, hey, hey you've been a great crowd! <laughs> I literally, wow, yeah, I I can't do this without peanut pop guns. We got the epic music though. This song is low key like my favorite song in the game. Here's looking at you, kid! <laughs> that was Mickey Mouse. Diddy's like, I don't know what to do! <laughs> yeah, I'm not trying that again. Blue Java bananas. They turn yellow when they're ripe, and they're blue before them. That's so weird, but also kind of awesome. I mean, granted, I hate bananas regardless. That's cool. I learned something new today. Well, I'm in the minority for hating bananas. 
It's not a choice, though. I, I, my body literally just rejects them. It's not an allergy, it's just an intense distaste. Another thing I gotta do for the content. Wow, vanilla... guess what? We all know where this usually leads. Or at least, a lot of us know where this usually leads. Hopefully it leads somewhere different. It's the barrel of evil. Welcome to, Welcome bonus, to stage. bonus stage! I, unpopular opinion, I really like this minigame. At least in the earlier iterations. The cults are- No! Don't shoot me, please! No! It's fun until you get to the harder versions of the level, where you need superhuman reflexes to react in time. Oh, no, no, please don't shoot me! <laughs> it says something where in the harder versions of that level, you only need to shoot the banana five times. That's how hard it is to do. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, there we go. I think we've had enough tea for today. <laughs> Alright, off to Angry Aztec. Surely we can save at least one, maybe two more cones here. What does papaya taste like? Never had it. Is it like mango? Tastes kind of like melon. Like a cantaloupe? Or a couple of different kinds of melon. As long as it doesn't taste like melon, no, 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 uh huh? Like cantaloupe. Okay. I think I'd rather just have cantaloupe, but it's interesting. <laughs> Here's an enemy you don't see every day. The weird mushroom Kremlin. I have thought about it. Peanut popkins would be very nice, or chimpy charge. Okay, I will take Chimpy Charge. I still have no way of entering the Tiny Temple, though. I need to get more Crystal Coconuts, because I've gotten so many dirt piles. I do not know the Mushroom Man. Is he the guy who lives on Drury Lane? Oh, yeah. Um... I don't have Guitar Gazump, do I? No, I don't. Okay, that's actually kind of sucky. Because now I can't proceed over through here. And I also can't go into the Tiny Temple, because I don't have a gun. That's interesting. All right. <laughs> Gotta give me that. You gots to. All right, well, this is not a total loss, people. You know why? Because we can go to the boss fight. And she's our way into the boss. Might take a little bit of time, but we can do it. I did not finish Hollow Knight, nope. It's still going on. Just not today. Is 
So there's a glitch in this game that's simple in theory, but can be hard in practice, where if you use C up to go first person mode right when you walk off a ledge, and then turn around, you can clip inside the ledge. How is there still a lot of content left? I have over 90% completion. This can be annoying to pull off. This is easier to do with Chunky Comb because he's so big. So speedrunners can pull this off, like, consistently. Don't know how. No, you do, you do not need to be next to the wall. I'm gonna enter the room as Tiny Comb, because... There's a chance that the fight will be Mad Jack, and if it is, Diddy Kong is kind of screwed if he's the one who goes in dug on it. I am trying to glitch the room, yes. It's Donkey Kong 64. When am I not trying to glitch? Maybe I will try closer to the wall. <sighs> Come on. Dug on it. I'm confused, because I'm trapped in Angry Aztec. Like, both of the cones are out of my reach. I can't reach any of the other... I can't reach any of the other stores, and I can't go to any of the other worlds, because they require way too many golden bananas. And the two... And, like, the two cones I have are the two cones that are really bad at glitching into other worlds, so... Hang on. Did I... Hang on. I may have missed something really obvious in Frantic Factory. I hate doing that. That C-Up glitch is like one of the least consistent glitches in the whole game. At least when I try doing it. So I oftentimes will be there for like an hour. There's a chance that there was a move that Diddy could have bought in this world that I just didn't go by. <laughs> oh, that was a beautiful limerick, Proxima. Well done. Yeah, there. I actually, now that I think about it, I want to say Candy was selling a move for Diddy, and I forgot to actually visit her. So if she's selling the Peanut Popkins, then that's our answer. Or the Guitar Gazump. I was going to say, I really hope this is not the case that I was stupid enough to miss this, but I actually do, because then that means this seed became becomes a lot easier. I'm pretty sure I forgot to. Yep. Candy was selling a move for every single one of the cones. That's how it goes. All right. There we go. All right. That's our progress in Angry Aztec. Well, I'm a dummy dum-dum. When I sat down and thought about it, I'm like, yeah, this doesn't make sense. Oops, did I say I was going to beat this seed in an hour and a half? That's probably not going to happen. Oh, 
It's not going to take five hours, I can pretty much guarantee that. I think we've already passed the point where I'm like, alright, we're, we're not going to need to collect a lot of gold bananas. My biggest fear was that Frantic Factory, was that Lanky was going to be imprisoned in Frantic Factory, and Frantic Factory would need a huge amount of gold bananas to enter. If that was the case, then that would be really bad, because there's not... The only way to get into uh, Frantic Factory early is with Lanky Comb. I did not want to visit you. I wasn't even close to your door. Okay, this is good. Once we get Donkey Kong, glitching into the boss rooms is a lot easier. So much more consistent to do it with Donkey Kong. Alright. Here we go. Woohoo! Oh, what do you mean that didn't count? You weren't standing directly on the pad. Yeah, Diddy Cone's grinding on that axe. It is fitting we got the two worst cones to begin with. Alright, Lanky's Kisplet is hanging out in here. Bully for him. I love me some ponytail twirl. This- wow, Cranky is also selling a move for every cone. This is impressive. Peanut Pop Guns! Oh yes! That's exactly what I wanted to see. That's exactly the move I wanted to see. Is this a blessed seed? Yeah, it's a pretty blessed seed. Mini Monkey or Feverbow. I'm happy for Feverbow. That's a good one. This means that we can now go in and save all the uh, two cones that are sealed here. This is wonderful. It's like poetry, it rhymes. <laughs> Love the ponytail twirl. So nice. Probably the best move in the game. Because so many of the moves are basically just you push a button and something happens for that calm. Key Sanity Oracle of Ages. That's toughy. That's a toughy. Oh yeah, I need to try the Oracle of Ages randomizer. I did the Oracle of Seasons randomizer. Move for Tiny. Okay. Let's see what it is. Monkey Port? Monkey Port. We now have... The only move of Tiny's we're missing is the Mini Monkey. Which is kind of weird, because we need the Mini Monkey. <laughs> Like, we can't skip Mini Monkey. We're going to need it. A lot of the moves we can skip, not that one. Oh, you did redeem Talk in a Weird Voice for a minute. Lovely. Sorry. That Those alerts that, when you redeem that, do not appear on my Mix-It-Up. They only appear on my phone. And I have a bad habit of looking at Mix-It-Up and not my phone. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Gotta love angry Aztec physics. All right. Okay, George. We're gonna hang out in the Llama Temple for a little bit. Gorsh. <laughs> All right. I really hope DK is the one imprisoned in here, but I also would love Lanky as well. <laughs> don't you love it when you don't get the sword for a while in the seed? That's always fun. Always a lot of fun. All right. Who's gonna be saving the call in here? It's gonna be Tiny. Play that saxophone, Tiny. Play it. Yeah. 
There's a game called Mario 65? That's a weird one. I'm still waiting for Donkey Kong 65. Are you talking about Shifting Sandland from Mario 64? Yeah, that's a tough one. Alright guys, which Kong will be in here? It will be Donkey, Lanky, or Chunky. It's Lanky! I love Lanky. Lanky's low-key my favorite calm. Just so lovable. And so weird. And yes, we have the three slowest cons in the game right now. Is there there probably is a Mario 63. It would not surprise me in the slightest. Nah, Pete is more like this. Pete Wheeler. That kid just tried to bean me. Are we getting the rain sprint already? I don't need the rain sprint. <laughs> we can a rain stand sprint, but we can't a rain stand. That's just not allowed. So much untapped character potential with Toad. Oh, if you love Toad as a character, then you should play Mario S Paper Mario Sticker Star. They're everywhere. That is true, Proxima. I should be careful what I wish for. Nah, let's skip straight to Mario 70. Lemur! Nothing for Lanky in there. They're gonna need to make a lot more Mario games before they get to that one. I love how in the randomizer we don't have to deal with those stupid monkey tons. If you've played this game, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Alright. Donkey Kong in here? Chunky Kong. Okay, so we're saving DK last. DK's trapped in jungle japes. This is quite the eclectic mix of enemies in this room. Okay, this flame looks like he's a rejected Food Rocks character. <laughs> the Legend of Zelda Harpsichord of Location? I'd play that. Legend of Zelda Train to Flavor Town. I love how Chunky's feet... Oh no, I thought the Chunky's feet were clipping into the ground, but... No. They weren't. They were normal. Hey! Some of these enemies are cri... I've noticed that there is variance in the height and size of the uh, enemies. And sometimes when enemies are really large, they become ridiculously fast. Well, now we got Big Boy. Big boy chunky. Yeehaw. And actually, you know what, guys? At this point, we don't even need to glitch into the boss room. We can get to the boss room the normal way. And it'll probably be the only boss room we do get in the normal way. Also, I like Chunky's orange shirt. Oh, hi! There are too many fat guys in that room. 
I was getting claustrophobic. Ocarina of Time is called Das Fluten Duten. That's a great name. That is a fantastic name. Alright, we need 127 bananas. We have almost half. We can get up there. Is this gonna be... No, this is not gonna be a shorter stream than the usual weekday stream. No sorry. Gorilla gone. Where's Zimgonium? See, Chunky Calm is one of those characters that I think we need... We need every single move with Chunky Calm. We literally will need every single move for Chunky Calm, so... This is fine by me. Alright, let's go find some bananas! Okay, now those are tokens. We don't need tokens. I love Chunky the Big Fat Guy is the second fastest character in the game. At least he certainly feels like he's the second fastest character. Oh, here we go. This is the way to travel. Once you get the hang of Diddy's jetpack, it's actually quite nice. It is a pain in the butt to learn to, to control, though. Ganondorf's mask? They start selling Ganondorf masks, and he's annoyed that everybody's dressing up like him. I can't believe I'm grinding up regular old bananas. I feel so ashamed. It's not like the Mario 64 hack where literally every texture is toad. Yes, that is a hack that exists. My sister talks about it a lot. Oh, B.S. has not crashed. Nope. The Open Broadcaster Studio is still A-OK. -okay. Oh, this is... Let me tell you what, this is where it's nice to have the fast tag barrel switching. Yep, Super Elysio 64. She's like, Artie, you should play it! I'm like, no, I've seen it. It's awful. She's like, but you get to hear the Dire Dire Docks music, but it's all toad sounds. I'm like, it's... It, it makes your ears bleed. It's so bad. You, you enter Peach's castle, it's just toad faces plastered all over the walls, and it's just like... It's awful. Ooh, we're so close. Dire Fox 240, thank you so much for the raid! Whoa, whoa! Dun, dun. Thank you so much! Welcome, everybody! Yeah, we're playing the DK64 Randomizer. We have saved every cone except for Donkey Kong, which is a shame because I love Donkey Kong. That's okay. Whoa! How are you guys doing? What uh, what were you playing? If you don't mind me asking. <laughs> Dixie wishes. Yeah, I mean, if they make an another, if they make another DK64 style game, I would totally be down for them to put Dixie in instead of Tiny. But I like both. Yes. So this is the randomizer. So. How this works is that each of the levels can be in a different location. The cones and where they're located, that's also randomized. So, like, Donkey Kong is trapped in Jungle Japes right now. And it's random which keys I need to grab. 
It's also random which shops sell which items. So I'm just kind of scrambling to get all of the cons and buy all of the moves so I can take on King K. Rule. And there's also an entrance randomizer you can do, but I have turned that off this time. <laughs> Monster Hunter Rise, nice. Oh, he got your butt kicked by an overgrown pigeon. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Lanky Cone needs to go in. Ooh. <laughs> That's, that also sounds like something that could be in a Pokemon game. It's like, oh no, giant Pidgey killed me. I don't, I don't have much experience with Monster Hunter. Oh, nice. I, pl I played, there was a Monster Hunter game for the Wii U that I played for a little bit. It was weird where there was like this Indian chief who was like telecommunicating with me. It was very strange. <laughs> okay, um, I don't remember the boss fight music being this loud in vanilla. Like, I can't hear myself speak right now. <laughs> I think we all had some nightmares with DK64 if we grew up with them. Like, uh, Mad Jack and the Game Over screen. Yeah, Monster Hunter Free Ultimate. Yeah, I was, like, killing dinosaurs, and then this Indian chief was like, Make sure you eat all the meat! <laughs> I'm like, what? Okay. <laughs> Never played it that much, though. Oh, I love Compressed Master Hand Laugh, it's great! Donkey Kong! And that is the first, and probably only boss fight we're gonna be facing legitimately here. Alright, we got key number two. I think at this point every single world is open to us. Uh, we did not visit Cranky's lab as Chunky Cone, so we gotta go over there and get that, fix that. Woo, woo, woo. TK64 is one of those games where I love it to death. It's deeply flawed, but it's super fun. A lot of it probably because I grew up with it. Alright, Chunky, let's go in and grab yourself. The Primate Punch, yes, this is what we need. Sandwichium Knuckles! <laughs> yeah, they take out the boss cutscene, so you just jump right into the action. <laughs> yep, demon shows up, just throw TNT at it, just like in real life. Problem solved, A-OK, -okay, nothing bad. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, if you want to go back and play it, I would definitely recommend it. I will also say that, um... I would not try 100%ing this game unless you really love it, because there's some, uh... There's some dumb stuff in this game. <laughs> like, for example, Beaver Bobber. I adore this game, I'm not even going to try to justify Beaver Bobber. <laughs> Here we go off towards Frantic Factory, and I'm hoping it's Jungle Japes. Wherever Jungle Japes is, that's where I need to go. Yep, bl blueprints are important. Blueprints are one of the few collectibles I will be going out of my way to grab, because we're going to need those for Hideout Helm. I don't really need gold bananas, but I do need the extra time. Beaver Bobber is possibly the worst minigame in any video game ever. And that that's only slightly hyperbole. It's really, really bad. Unless you've played the Wii U Virtual Console version, in which case they actually fixed it. So it's actually, like, possible. Okay, I... Nope, no, we're not going to Gloomy Galleon. <laughs> wow, that was... that was dark. <laughs> If it's a secret depopulation list, Nintendo Addict, how do you know about it? <laughs> oh, 
There we go. This is what I want. All right, Linky. It's time for you to shine. 18 gold bananas. Oh, no. We don't have 18 gold bananas. But that's okay. We have Linky. Oh, wait. Yeah, let's do it from here. We don't need no golden bananas. <laughs> Remember, folks. In this game... Walls are optional. Oh no! Someone's fighting the dreaded lost kin in Hollow Knight, eh? <laughs> I wonder what that would be like. Oh yeah, for those of you who don't know, I'll be using intense glitches in this randomizer to get into worlds without collecting the gold bananas. Get into the boss fights without collecting regular bananas. The works. <laughs> that my boy Link, yeah, Linky Kong is my favorite. He can clip into any world. All right, Link. Grape shooter? No, we get the actual arena stand. Yay! Now we can run slowly as well as running fast. <laughs> wah wah. And we actually don't need the battle crowns, because, uh... <laughs> I can glitch past the door. Whose gold banana is this? It's Chunky's. <laughs> TK's like, how did I get trapped? <laughs> oh, wait. Shoot, I need the pineapple launcher. Whoa. Well... Guess we actually can't save DK right now. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. Well, you know what? Frantic Factory had some moves for Chunky. So we gotta go find his pineapple launcher. You can know, Billy, you can believe it. What do you got for me? Ponytail twirl I know where ponytail twirl can be purchased. I already own it. Oh, doggone it, that's DK's cuss plot. The reason for that is because it was made by the same company, Rareware. Yeah, they are very similar. Also, same composer did the music for both games. Both fantastic games. Banjo-Kazooie is probably objectively better, but I like DK64 better. <laughs> yeah, the music and sound effects, I think, were the same by the same guy. So they're gonna feel the same. Pineapple launcher? Oh, vanilla triangle trample. All right. We need that, too. Whoa-oh. Yeah, sorry. Please don't be swearing in my chat. Sorry. Try to keep the language similar to the game that I'm playing. It's family-friendly until I play games that aren't family-friendly, in which case, go nuts, but... Trombone Trimmer! Yay, Lanky knows how to play a musical instrument. Now now he'll be irresistible to the ladies. <laughs> That's all he was missing, was, uh, like, a good hobby, and now... Boom. <laughs> ladies, can you do this? <laughs> Get yourself a guy who can do this. I don't think it's asking for too much. Woohoo! <laughs> if you say he has no style, he has no grace, well, take a look at this. Oh yeah, Jet Force Gemini! I... My family owns that game. I've never played it, though. I've played the multiplayer. But the single player, I have not. Okay, I know 
I know it, we don't need to do this, but I'm curious. I'm curious. It's right here, so... Nope! Nope! We're not doing that! <laughs> but that's good. That's good. Because this means that's a less... One fewer beaver bobber that can show up in Hideout Helm. Because I actually have to beat the Hideout Helm bonus barrels. And if Beaver Bobber appears, that's not going to be good. Welcome to Bonus Stage! Ah, <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe I'll do a blind stream of Jeff Force Gemini one day. Maybe. Not opposed to it. Oh boy. Baboon Balloon. I actually don't think we need that. That's okay. Seeing Lanky inflate his pants with helium is pretty amusing. You only get one try at each beaver thing? No, I can try that as many times as I want. And that was all the times I wanted. One! <laughs> My reward for doing that is only a golden banana. So... And I don't need golden bananas. I more just wanted to see what it was, because the bonus barrels are randomized. The issue is, if that bonus barrel appears in the last level world, I have to beat it. And not only that, I have to beat it on a time limit. Thanks for the blueprint, boy. Alright, Lanky. I need to start checking all these hints to learn the K rule phases. Calls who bows down to a dra down a dragonfly can be found in the level of two. Oh, that okay, that was a weird way of saying Chunky was an angry Aztec. Gorilla Grab can be purchased in the level of Cranky with a spinning turn. I already have Gorilla Grab? Oh, yeah. I don't need... Maybe I do need Gorilla Grab. Coconut Gun can be purchased from Lanky in the level of the Ice Tomato. Cool. I'm so excited to hear that. The hint system in this is very cryptic. Lanky, can we... Wait, 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 what did that say? Lanky's blue bananas? Lanky can find blue bananas in Hideout Helm. What? What does that mean? There are no bananas in Hideout Helm. Yeah, so these hints normally have hints towards how to get golden bananas in the regular game. In the randomizer, they're actually hints on what to get in the randomizer. Okay, really, Lanky? You're falling off, man. There we go. Yeah, they are like the Gossip Stones in the Ocarina of Time randomizer. Very similar. They're, what the heck? This guy is enormous! These guys are bigger than King K. Rule himself. Man, they should be the bosses. Alright. Group move. Tiny can buy it. Super Simeon Slam, maybe? Nope. Music upgrade one. Okay, so that's terrible. Yeah, I'm down for that. Uh, maybe not Zelda 1 rando, but Link to the Past rando. Yeah, I'm definitely down for that. I'm down for co-op randomizers for sure. Whoa. Every time I jump down from there, I pretty much always end up hitting the cannon again. We better find the pineapple launcher here. I will sequence break into another world if I have to. I am so glad we get to skip most of this world. I am no fan of Gloomy Galleon. Another group move, eh? Funky better be selling the pineapple launcher.
Yeah, if you think that's a worthwhile investment, then sure. I'm not gonna... I, I don't want you to feel pressured into doing that, though. But yeah, if if you get a computer to do multi-world, I would be delighted to play with you. Always looking for buddies who like doing multi-world. As a matter of fact, I'm actually playing a multi-world offline with someone else at the moment. It's very fun. Another group move, really? Is there a Donkey Kong game I will never let's play or stream? I mean, there are many Donkey Kong games I will never let's play or stream. T for example, Donkey Kong Jr. Math. Uh, multi-world, it's... Okay, here's the thing. This, what I've accepted about multi-world is... Okay. For multi-world, no matter what you do, it seems like it's going to take three hours to set up. Every single time I've done a multi-world seed with somebody, it's always taken three hours to set up. But once you set it up, you're good. No, 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 I meant... By offline multi-world, I meant I wasn't streaming it. That's all I meant by it. Alright, we're heading to Crystal Caves, then. That is a lot of setup time, yes. Well, actually, okay, at this point, actually... If you set up all of your controller stuff ahead of time... Because th that's the main problem we had, me and my friend, who were said, doing the off-stream multi-world, is that... Her GameCube controller adapter just would not work, so she ended up playing on keyboard. You want me to pay 84 gold bananas? How about I just glitch past you? Welcome to Crystal Caves. That's, well... A Link to the Past, it's a lot easier to use a keyboard compared to Ocarina of Time. <laughs> it's not witchcraft. I just glitched through the door. Only DK has a move there, because of course he does. Where's that giant stalagmite? Here it is. Why can't I turn into Chunky Kong up here? There we go. Oh, another shared move. Great. Give me the pineapple launcher, please, and thank you, God bless. Super Simeon Slam. Okay, we do need that, so glad we got it. Good job, Chunk. After... I've played this game for about 20 years, and I still don't know the layout of Crystal Caves very well. Uh, um, <clears throat> great camera. Just fantastic. Excuse me! Wow! I just phased through the blueprint. Ah, well. We don't need all the blueprints. Oh, man! Doggone it! Only a bunch of shared moves. Where's that Dane Pineapple Launcher? 
I want to save my buddy DK. Oh boy, we get sniper mode. I mean, we didn't finish the seed by any means. We played for a few hours. Rats. Alright, let's see if we can get the other Kasplut here. Kasplut! Alright, who's up here? Doggone it, it's, of course it's freaking Donkey Kongs. Okay. That's fine. You know what? I'll just go to a different world. Creepy castle. Kusplat. <clears throat> Camera. Camera. Man, the hitbox on this is enormous. There we go, this is where we want to be. Camera. There we go. Thank you, Linky. Alright, how many times do I fall off the bridge at the beginning of this level? Zero, because we got tiny. Ah, uh, Creepy Castle, I love you and I hate you at the same time. Super cool world. Very frustrating old bananas to get. I usually do always fall off the bridge on this level, as a matter of fact. Hey, Golden Beaver! All right, I gotta say, the spider enemies fit this world phenomenally well. I can't believe that they're not even common enemies in the game. They only appear during a boss fight. Lanky's Kasplut is vanilla here again. I love how the music in Creepy Castle is a remix of the original Donkey Kong DK climbing up the ladder music. Uh, uh, uh. Is this the ballroom or is this Cranky's lab? It's the ballroom. There already is a Banjo-Kazooie randomizer, I just don't think it's that good. Again, I'm always... The 3D platforming randomizers, I'm like... I mean, you still have to go to the same places and collect everything, right? That's one of the reasons why the DK64 randomizer sticks out, because you can go through everything, so it basically just becomes find the cones, find the moves. And not just like, oh... This time, you go to where Lanky's gold banana normally is, but now it's Diddy's. Haha, uh -huh, get it? It's like... Sure, sure Jan. Man, I am only finding these shared moves. Give me the pineapple launcher, bro! Let's see what candy's got. 
Pineapple Archer cannot be the last item I get because I need it in order to save Donkey Kong, and Donkey Kong needs some moves. Alright, is this DK's Kasplat or Chunky's? It's Chunky's, good. Come on. Okay, this looks promising. This looks promising! Nope, it's Hunky Chunky. We still need that! We do still need that. Mini Monkey! There we go. Tiny has all her moves. Very nice. Good job, Tiny. Alright, Lanky. And DK has a move here as well. Alright, Lanky gets the Grape Shooter. And Lanky now has all of his moves. Also, Chunky has all of his moves except the Pineapple Launcher. Yeah, that's, it helps that I now know where I'm going, and I don't have to search through every loading zone to find the one I want. Splat around here. Alright, let's blast him from a distance. There we go. Nice job, Diddy. You definitely did all of that. Uh, you ready for Lanky? Wait, that was Tiny's Kisplot? He definitely had blue hair. But alright. Rude. Alright, is this, this, has, this has to be Pineapple Launcher. It has to be. It's the only chunky move left. There we go! Alright. We're not quite in go mode, but that's definitely going to help. So at this point we need to rescue DK, purchase the remaining moves, grab some blueprints, and then we are off to Hideout Helm. Also, something I want to try out. I think Chunky Kong can also enter the world, Zeroey. Alright, we'll stick with Lanky. Someone must have gotten a new seed launcher. Maybe. Well, I told you I want I wanted a shorter seed tonight. I do still have to do things like pack for my trip. DK's like, help me out! It's like, okay, we gotta go and buy some uh, stuff. We'll, we'll help you out later, DK. Oh, whoa, okay. Uh, why is this so difficult? 
Oh, wait, we had it for a second. It's true. I am going to Texas. It's gonna be fun. Uh, I'm visiting a couple cities. I'm flying into Austin. But I'll, I'll be exploring around the area. I also want to explore into small towns as well. <laughs> Chunky blows up. Dun, 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 dun. Yes. Now we get the best calm. Well, I'm not going to tell people my flight information or anything like that, but... I'm, I'm heading to the eastern half of Texas. That narrows it down a lot. Gotta grab the gold banana so we can open up the gates. hee -yaw. Well, duh, what else? Funky Airlines. Alright, Diddy, good job. Now we just gotta find the ever Kispluts. I'm sorry, the Kisplats. Here, another shared move? Sure enough. Let's just buy it. Super Duper Simeon Slam, maybe? Yep! The bigger butter spashium. I don't think we actually need that move, but I'll get it nonetheless, since I'm here and all that. I love DK. DK is very fast. DK is very glitchy, in the best of ways. And with DK, all my dreams come true. All of them. All of them. All of them. <laughs> Grab on, DK. <laughs> This has to be DK's. Cool, cool. How did that not kill him? This guy's apparently got a bomb-proof vest, but then DK slaps him. He's like, oh, I die. <laughs> that guy, what a chad. He just shrugged it off like it was nothing. Just heading down here to get ourselves another Kusplat. Chunky's Kusplat is always down here. Um, Chunky, that was probably the most pathetic jump I've ever seen you do. So we're gonna let DK do the jump. Actually, no, we're gonna let Tiny do the jump instead. There 
we go. Vines down. <laughs> Gimme. Okay. Okay. All right, let's just help ourselves to some, some kasplats by the moves. I don't know how many bad mini games there are going to be in Hideout and Helm. I'm just going to assume there will be a lot. So, the more kasplats we get, the better. I will not be getting them all. I'm not climbing the production room for one kasplat. It's not happening. It just ain't happening. Alright, I think I grabbed the guy. Yeah, he, he's got white hair. We also haven't even been to Fungi Forest yet. <clears throat> ah, Chunky. Never change. How many of DK's moves do we actually need? All right, well, Baboom, well, Baboom Blast is one move that we probably would need. But I don't think he uses his gun at all. So, yeah, I think that's basically the only DK move that we need. Chunky Kong doesn't need to change. Oh, hey, two DK moves right here. Coconut Gun or Bongo Blast? Bongo Blast. Oh, yeah, we do need Bongo Blast. That's true. Forgot about that, so that's good. We need every single instrument. I'm not giving you any more, donkey, you stupid butt. Get out of here. I like the coconut gun. It fires in spurts. How do I know which moves I need? Uh, because Hideout Helm is by and large the same. I like that. The only thing that really changes are the bonus games, and the bonus games don't require you to have special moves. No, I've freed all the cones at this point. I literally just need to pick up moves and blueprints. Alright, who's the sprat? Oh, we already beat him up. Cool. Yeah. Well, because you start, I started with Tiny Calm, Diddy Calm was in Frantic Factory, Lanky and Chunky were in Angry Aztec, and DK was in Jungle Japes. Well, Wrinkly's dead, so she'll just never be free. I know that's morbid, but it's... it's the truth! It's actual! Everything is satisfactual. We no longer need to clip in here. Oh wait, we... we did it anyways. Nine gold bananas. Easy. Ouch. Oh no, we don't have the coconut gun to fire in spurts. We better get sold that move here. Or I'll be an unhappy camper. Well, again, we don't need all of the kisplats. If he shoots you, it fires in spurts. That's how the lyrics go, right? Alright, yeah, this is Gorilla Grab. Oh, wait, yeah, we do need Gorilla Grab, don't we? I'm gonna put a black box around it in the YouTube VOD. That's how I'm gonna do it.
Because we caught it early, like, it's gonna be pretty easy to do, but if it's on screen and keeps moving, that's when it gets annoying to deal with. Alright, well that's everything in- no, it's not everything in Angry Aztec. There's still some kaspluts that need kaspluting. I'm not gonna get Chunky's Kisplot, I'm not gonna get DK's Kisplot, but we can get whichever Kisplot is in here. Why, Mr. Llama, why are there living skeletons in your temple? Ah, don't worry about that, man. It's kinda weird how they changed the barrel textures in the randomizer to be like a darker shade of brown. I don't really mind it, it's just a weird thing they did. Alright, who's in here? Oh, it's Tiny's Kiss Blood. This is great. You don't even need the two pad warp. God bless our guns. <laughs> guns make Kiss Bloods very quick to deal with. Alright, let's head to Fungi Forest. I'm a fun guy, and it's the only world we haven't been to yet. Oh boy, you re you redeemed your second weird voice, did you? Of course you did. Well, that's the only weird voice. That's the only two weird voices you get this stream. Hmm. I hate how he does the. Uh, uh. Two weird voices per person per stream. That's how it goes. 64 gold bananas? No, we don't need that. Hey, we don't need gold bananas, shiny. Welcome to Fungi Forest. Alright, first up, we gotta get rid of these gates. They're blocking the path. I go first. Hey, we gotta go further in the green tunnel. Did somebody say pineapples? Funky Collins down this tunnel, I think he might be selling a secret weapon of sorts. <laughs> this turn from already talking in a weird voice to already mimics your favorite Hundred Acre Wood Winnie the Pooh character. <laughs> Which is bad, because I can only really do two of their voices. <laughs> Oh boy, shared move. What a surprise. Music upgrade number two. Music upgrade number two. Wonderful. One of the worst moves in the entire game. Thanks for refilling my ammo, shunny. I can't whistle through my teeth. That's a bit of a problem. Anyhow, I think there's a giant mushroom around here, where half the Kesplots are, and Cranky's cabin is. That's where we're heading to next. Boom, 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 boom. We'll probably finish around 10.30, maybe a little before? Shouldn't take much longer. At this point, how long it takes really is kind of up to me. How much stuff I want to get. There's a jetpack around here, we're gonna take advantage of that. To go straight up to the top. Mm. Jetpacks are always there when you need them. Alright. Oh, we, ha we do need to beat the boss of this world. Cool. Yeah. 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 
I almost forgot that we actually needed to beat the bosses outside of Hideout Helm. Ah, the moon kick. My personal favorite glitch in the game. So flexible, so fun. Opens up and sequence breaks so much. Come on! Alright, game, you're just being real picky now. Come on! Come on, man! There we go! No! I missed it. Come on, monk. Come on, gorilla. Okay? Moon kick. So weird, I pulled this off seamlessly in my other randomizer. Why is he not happening this time? We got a gorilla for sale, McGill a gorilla for sale. We got a gorilla for sale, McGill a gorilla for sale. Won't you buy him, take him, try him? Come on! Man, the game is being really, really picky with what, what counts as a moon kick today. Good lord. There we go. Alright. Now clip through. No! What the heck?! Now the moon kick's not even clipping through the wall like it's supposed to. the randomizer devs being like, no, you're not allowed to use glitch. There we go. Alright, what boss is this gonna be? On the off chance that it happens to be the Dogodon rematch. That's exactly what it is! Alright. Glad I'm Chunky Kong! funny, because DK does that in one of the DK games. Won't say which one. remember if we need to get the boss in a uh, gloomy galleon as well. I can't believe I used to find this guy difficult. Florida's not a new place. I go to Florida pretty frequently. Florida's nice. Extremely touristy, but it's nice. It's not Florida. Eh? Come on, man. Come on, get in the barrel. Wow, that was the shortest lasting chunky barrel I've ever seen. Tom 
Petty is from Florida? Okay. Good for Tom Petty, I guess. Who's Tom Petty again? Uh, no, saying, come on, man, is not political. kind of close. Yeah, I don't know why in the DK64 randomizer the boss fight music is really, really, really loud. Like, way louder than all the other music. <laughs> One punch away. Just barely in time. That's a gruesome death. And I love how, like, the, the cutscene later on in the game is just like, Guys, he's okay, don't worry. He just got a headache. Yeah, the arena does look really small when they're both huge. It's called Perspective. Alright. There we are. That's where I want to go. Best visual novel is definitely Ace Attorney Investigations 2. That game is amazing. Take that, give me that blooper. And why was that Kasplut so big? I don't get, I don't understand. Great story, great characters. I say no to the lewd. Ace Attorney is, I guess, kind of in the middle. Some people say it's a visual novel, some people say it's a full game. It, it kind of blends the two. Yeah, you collect clues in Ace Attorney. That's true. Faux show. I love how literally three out of the five Kasplets on the level are on the uh, mushroom. Fruit of Grisea is very, very long, and it has a lot of cringe in it. But when it's good, it's really good. I have not played the Nancy Drew series, no. My library, when growing up, had a ton of the Nancy Drew games, but we never got them. Alright, will this be Chunky's Kasplut or Lanky's Kasplut? It's Chunky! We honestly, we realistically probably have enough blueprints, but I'm gonna keep going a little bit more. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. I'm aware of what Tomoyo After is. I put it on my list, so I know. I'm not putting stuff on my to play list unless I know what they are. Get in there. I 
I never went to Cranky's lab in Fungi Forest, did I? That's okay. That's okay. Um. Thanks, game. Thanks, game. Thanks, game. Thanks, game. Thanks, game! You see, that time it worked much better. I hope it's Mad Jack. Ooh, cantaloupe. Very nice. I love the Mad Jack fight. Okay, it's King Cardboard rule. Weirdest boss fight ever. I just realized, this is the first boss fight we're facing that's not vanilla. I will never get over how completely weird this boss fight is. Let's make the final boss a cardboard cutout that sounds like a clown and can shoot actual lasers. I'm not joking, like, this is what it is. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a weirder boss out there. I can't think of one. Yeah, the voice acting is A+. Plus. Epic music, though. I mean, Grant, Ker Grant Kirkhope doesn't make any bad music, so... <laughs> yeah, I'm drawing a blank on a weirder boss fight than this. Psychonauts has some weird ones, but not to this level. <laughs> Derek, uh oh. You guys still have the laser gun, though, right? Nope, they broke that too. Good job, Collins. You did me proud. Dark Donkey Kong.
All right, let's try this again. There, that went much better. What's a normal video game? Takana, I don't have the coconut gun! Alright, well, only one other blueprint we can get here, then. Uh, uh, yeah, I know! I really don't like this world, but it has really good music. this. Jump on the platform. Jump on the platform! Jump on the platform and stay on the platform! My gosh. Get on the Dane Razzle Frazzle platform. Alright, that's it. Face my Bongo Puri. There we go. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just glad this game doesn't completely suck when it comes to swimming controls. Alright, we got key 6 and key 3. We just need key 8. Vanilla. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, I swear sometimes the guy has blue hair and it gives Tiny's blueprint. Alright, once I find DK's gun, I'll, I'm going to hide out in Helm. DK's gun's either here or Creepy Castle. Crystal Caves, bro. Go back to Creepy Castle, where you belong. Come on, please. Not strong, calm. It looks promising. Yay! Finally! <laughs> We don't need strong tone. It's entirely optional. So I think the two moves I missed out on were strong cone and the second ammo belt. That's fine. I can live a long, happy life without either of those. Once again, that guy had blue hair, and it was like, oh no, it's tiny. It's like, okay. Whatever. Alright, good night, Mobius. Thanks for joining in. Hope you feel back to 100% pretty soon. <laughs> uh. 
One more blueprint for good measure. Alright, now we turn in our blueprints. Alright, Snide, we got a bunch of blueprints for you. Give me some extra time in the final level. That's all I ask. That's the way to do it, Kong. More golden bananas. It's gonna be weird coming back here for a max percent playthrough. Where I'm not skipping as much stuff as possible. <laughs> Doing exactly the opposite, actually. Remember, kids, your blueprints do nothing if you don't turn them into the weasel. Okay, guys, we clearly we're not going to get every single Hideout Helm minigame in Hideout Helm, so what minigames do you think we will be playing? Will we get a Beaver Bobber? Will we get Big Bug Bash? Minecart Mayhem? One of the really annoying ones? Or maybe we'll get to play something fun, like Speedy Swing Sortie. I think a lot I think most of the Hideout Helm bonus barrels will be vanilla, but we're gonna get a couple that are not. Alright, that's a good amount of blueprints. That should be more than enough. I hope it's not Minecraft my Mine, Minecraft mayhem. Har har. We got a comedian here in chat. I hope it's not Minecart Mayhem. That one's annoying. And the glitching's not over yet, folks, because we will have to glitch past the crown door and the special coin door. Oh, wait a second. Um, yeah, I'm, I don't really want a hundred... I don't want to have to collect 179 gold bananas, so... That's right, we're gonna, we're gonna do... An exploit. It's not a glitch, folks. It's an exploit. Ahem. Excuse me. Okay, is it this stupid... Okay, it actually might be that stupid gorilla gone that's messing with me. So this is not a difficult glitch. You literally are just supposed to be able to high jump into the wall here. They better not have patched this out. There we go, see? Very true, Proxima. Very, very true. And there we go. Final level, here we come! Oh, yeah. 36 minutes. Oh, yeah. Easy. Unless we get two beaver bobbers.
I do love Hideout Helm. Such a fantastic final world. Tiny runs through the drain. Yep, this is the final area. Hmm. Nothing to it. said about the jetpack being hard to control at times? Yeah. Diddy? Diddy? It's really annoying if the camera just doesn't cooperate, because then you basically just can't move at all. Chunkies is first. Not DK's. Wait, oh, I broke open Chunkies first. Whoops. Never mind, DK's is first. I just got the wrong door. What's the fastest randomizer seed I've ever completed? Like, across every single game? I have no idea. It's probably gonna be this one. Welcome to bonus stage. Stealthy Snoop. Great. I don't like this game. This also might be one of the maps that I'm not familiar Welcome with. To bonus stage. There are some unused maps of Stealthy Snoop. They get mixed into the pool. Well, you know what they say about insanity. Ugh. Oh! Watch me find every dead end. I can't believe I escaped. Okay, found a second dead end. Wait, no, I do want to try again. Stuck on it. Oh, then that may. Add, depending on how fast I can beat Hideout Helm and how long the boss, final boss will be, Welcome this might be dead out. DK, I, I hate it how you just get stuck in the wall if you so much as touch it. Right. Uh, nope, I don't trust that. Oh, look, it's a dead end. I told you, I will find every freaking dead end. Nope. 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 I can't believe he didn't see me.
Doggone it! Seriously, what are the odds of finding every single dead end in a maze? Okay, I hate this guy. He's literally taking up the whole hallway. Well done! It will be hard to randomize those two. <laughs> those are both very linear. Stay on the pony and snipe! You know how that's how I like to do it. How did I not kill them? I shot them, like, a hundred times. Or is it like, oh, you hit the ground first. So help. Son of a gun, it's shooting the freaking floor. How are these not killing the stupid Kremlins? I shot them 800 times a piece! I'm just gonna aim higher up, I guess. Because apparently these keep hitting the floor. I'm sorry, I killed those Kremlings. I shot that guy with five coconuts directly in the face. You're not surviving that. It's annoying because the lag and the limit on the amount of coconuts you can have on screen means that the Kremlings are going to survive a lot and you can't shoot them very rapidly. Because you have to wait for the other coconuts to disappear before you can shoot more. Come on. Originally, this is a Chunky game, and Chunky's Pineapple Launcher is far more powerful than the other guns, so you only have to hit them, like, once. So this is kind of unfair to have to do this as DK. Unless they want me to grind up on homie ammo first, but... I don't know what they... I don't know what they expect me to do for this. I feel like you can't kill them fast enough. I ha and I have to stand on the podium. I'm not allowed to just get down and beat them up. If I could get down and beat them up, that would be great. But no, I have to stand on the podium. Like, I shot that Kremlin on the left side 20 times, and apparently they phased through him every single Look at this! It still says I've, like, only killed one. Also, I'm pushing the B button as fast as I possibly can, and this is how many coconuts are getting fired. Do I seriously have to grind up on homie ammo before coming here just to stand a chance at this? That Kremlin on the left, I don't know how he's surviving this much. How did you get over here? Finally! Okay, that... Yeah, that, if you have to play it as someone other than Chunky, kind of unfair.
And by the way, it would be even that game would be even worse if I had to play as Diddy or Mikey or Tiny, because their guns are even weaker than DK's. Well, unfortunately, I think the minigames are going to get harder from here on out. Welcome to bonus. Stealthy day. Snoop again? Great, and Chunky's enormous, so it'll be easy for him to go into the spotlight. What? He apparently didn't get... Is this the same level that I just played of DK? That guy is legally blind. I was definitely in the spotlight, but he's like, oh, I don't see you. Let's see if this is the same level. This seems to be the exact same layout. No. Uh, uh. I thought they were going to pull a switcheroo on me at the end there with the level exit. Yeah. No, this is the same one. It's the same stupid Kremlin who takes up the whole walkway. Okay. Well done. That was kind of dumb. Getting the exact same game in Tide on Helm. Better that than Beaver Bobber, though. Okay. Easy. This one's just monotonous. Well, well, that was definitely one of the easier iterations of that game. <laughs> Try chunky, but it's this way. Iron knuckles aren't that difficult, they're just time consuming. Oh, the gate just disappeared when I turned into tiny. I'm predicting we're gonna see a batty barrel bandit in here. In at least one of the remaining six mini games. Welcome to okay, Bonus well, yeah, this is likely. You played this game like 20 times casually, so. Oh, it's like the easy version of it, though. Only four. Well done. Okay, yeah, that one was easy. Really? <laughs> K-Roll's getting lazy now. Oh no, we gotta shoot six of them. Wow, alright, two searchlight seeks in the same room. That's... That's wild. Well, it could get bad. There's still two beaver bobbers out there. There's still max level Kremlin Kosh as well. 
Alright, Link, my man. Welcome uh -oh. to bonus stage. This could be bad or it could be good. Okay. This is manageable. I really like this game until you get to the really high difficulties. Oh no, this is perfectly manageable. Oh, never mind. That one was really easy. The hardest version of that game, you have to shoot 28 of them, and they disappear ridiculously quickly. It's basically luck-based, whether you need it or not. Oh, no. Okay, how difficult is this one? Is it one minecart or two? It's just one. Oh, so we get the easy version of this game. All right. I normally hate this game. Ooh! Alright, that was fine. Had a couple close calls there, but not too bad. Sometimes there are two minecarts on that track, and that gets a lot more annoying. Alright, just two bonus games left, and then K rule. Well, and then glitching, and then K rule. Uh, depends on what you mean by glitches. I don't... I'm not super good at glitching either of those games. I am pretty good at glitching DK64, so... Welcome to bonus day. Splash by salvage. This should be manageable. This is one of those times where the swing controls are bad, but it's not really because of the swing controls, it's because of the fixed camera. And the fact that if the enemies hit you, you instantly lose the game, which is weird. Yeah, I can't figure bomb hovering out. Uh-oh. Nope. You're not making a monkey out of me. Alright. That was the easier version of the game. Alright, last game! Will we have to beat Beaver Bobber in 16 minutes? Oh, yes! Speedy Sweet Swordy, my favorite game! Oh, and, it, and it's the version of the game that's not actually in vanilla. The one where you have to avoid the Zeners. That game is fun! It's also... Yay, no Beaver Bobber! Hooray! It's Beaver Bobber, not Bobber. Alright, yeah, we... We killed 15 Kasplots too many. <laughs> That's okay. Alright, now comes the fun part. Now we get to glitch. Beaver bobber, as in these beavers are bothering me. Alright, chunk. Oh no, we don't have four crowns. We also don't have the Nintendo coin or the Rareware coin. Whatever will we do without those? Come on. 
Okay, close, Chunky, but next time you do that, pull yourself through the wall. Chunky's just in a state where he's not going to climb up. This glitch is also very finicky, very inconsistent. I feel like there's sometimes Chunky, like, just will not pull himself through. He'll either get stuck in, like, he grabs on for a frame and then lets go, or he'll pull himself up and then just nothing happens. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna leave and come back. No, Chunky, pull yourself through the wall. So close, buddy. A wall clip, though. Chunky, stop sliding around on the computer. Pull yourself through the top. No, pull yourself through the top. Don't just sit on the top. And with the camera, please cooperate for two seconds. So, you want this girder in front of the screen, right? No. Oh, well, too bad. It will be. Chunky, please stop being a goon. There we go. That's what I was looking for. All right. All right. For my next trick, we so we need to be close enough in bounds that we can see. We want to be able to see where inbounds is, but we don't want to actually physically be inbounds. Now, this is actually the easy part of glitching through Hide. There's a way to glitch through Hide on Helm without having to do any of the bonus games, but dear lord, is it difficult to do. Alright. Now we gotta line this up. Make sure we got both the window and the door here. Okay. There we go. Key number eight. No DK coin, rare rare coin necessary. There we go. Key number eight. Congrats, Kalumzi, on your freedom. All right, now, now comes the issue of how many K rule boss phases will there be? Because there can be a random amount of phases. We, I think, we always have to fight him as Chunky, but it's random if we have to fight him as the other cones and in what order. So let's see who's up first. Oh my gosh, is it just one phase? Tipping the scales at a mighty two thousand pounds. He's the hard hitting. Chunky Kong. Oh my gosh, I think we were doing a one phase K rule fight. Oh, that's fantastic. If 
fastest boss fight. No, well, final fastest DK64 final boss fight. Yeah, sure. But need I remind you that old King Cole exists. Whoa! Chunky's clothes change color during that cutscene. I love how fast you can move when you're, uh, <laughs> shrinking at that moment. You're welcome. Just shoot! I'm in the middle now. I think you always finish the fight as Chunky. I could be wrong about that, but I think you always finish as Chunky. Just for the cutscene to work. Alright, and... That's... Game! A surprise, to be sure, but a welcome one. Yep, yep. Chunky's always the last phase. Nice job, Chunk! Alright, that was fun. I like that more than the entrance randomizer. Entrance randomizers mess with my brain, man. They really do. I think Arthur was talking about winning underneath that, but I couldn't hear him over K. Roll, like, rawr, rawr. <laughs> That's amazing. Maybe next time I play DK64 Randomizer, I'll say no glitches allowed. So I actually will have to collect gold bananas. That could be fun. I would also definitely... Definitely need to uh, do more than one stream if I do that. <laughs> yeah, that's DK64 Randomizer, though. Thank you all for joining in. This is a lot of fun to do. <laughs> you don't have to redeem it again if you don't want to. That's fine. Oh, boy. It's kind of weird how K. Rule is like, oh, man, monkey's hot. I gotta have the monkey. It's very strange. And here we have Funky Kong literally giving K. Rule the boot. I want to control Clunky and shoot the boot cannon. I don't know about you guys. Look at that. Get out. <laughs> Flawlessly timed. Flawlessly timed with that sound alert. Oh, I love this game. Such fantastic sound effects. And yeah, that's gonna do it for this stream. So it, took, it was a longer Wednesday stream than usual, but that's okay. I, I can afford that for a bit. But now I need to pack and get ready for my trip. So yeah, I will be gone until next week. So there will not be any streams until Saturday the 16th. And I will be playing the game that I was going to play tonight. Because I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if I would be able to do the whole thing in one single stream. So I will be able to do it in one stream if it's a Saturday stream though. So look forward to that. It's going to be a lot of fun. And... Oh yeah, I can't wait. And uploads are probably going to be stagnant during my vacation time as well. It kind of depends on if the internet at, at the hotel is any good. Well, I'll just see, but... I guess don't expect videos while I'm on vacation, but if you do get videos while I'm on vacation, that's just a nice little bonus, so... Oh, Bismuth and Seafox! I know those two guys. They do uh, speedruns in this game. They're awesome. All right, yeah, thank you guys so much for joining in. This is tons of fun. I always love playing DK64. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your night. God bless everyone.